Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider, and in this YouTube video, I have a special guest named JT Tran from ABCs. My name is JT Tran, and I'm the founder of the ABCs of Attraction, which is the number one Asian dating coaching company in America. You were the number one dating coach for Asian Americans <laughs> in America. Oh, I still am the number one Asian dating coach. You never left. Yes. I absolutely was horrible with women. Me, it was beyond just picking up girls. It became a social movement. I, a five foot five, basically unattractive Asian guy can do it, then you can do it. In this video, I really want to share a mindfulness tip from you. Great. And I, there's times where you're not feeling motivated or you're just feeling down about yourself. So let's hear a mindfulness tip for when you're not feeling motivated. Well, for me, it is about reframing. Right, because there are times when I'm thinking, oh my God, do I really want to wake up, walk my dog, you know, like answer like email, fan mail, do I really want to take the red eye to wherever? And I have to realize that these are actually like high quality problems, like first world problems, right? And so what I'll do is in order to reframe, and you guys can do this yourself, is first of all, you know, to understand the baseline is like, I have to, like I say, I have to get up in the morning, I have to walk my dog, I have to like answer emails, I have to, you know, get to Uber, drive to LAX, or the whole traffic is horrible. And you do that and you feel like, oh, this sucks, right? And then you say, okay, I get to. I get to answer my email, I get to wake up, walk my dog, I get to, you know, and that's more of a choice, right? And then you say like, I choose to. I choose to wake up early in the morning, I choose to walk my dog, I choose to, you know, travel, you know, to New York or Europe or whatnot. And then finally I go like, you, I am blessed to. I am blessed to wake up in the morning living in paradise in Hollywood, right? I am blessed to walk my, you know, dog that has been like, so loving and loyal. I am blessed to answer like a hundred emails from like fans. I am blessed to be able to travel and to have fun and to have adventures. I am blessed to like talk to like beautiful women. And so it's this process, right? And that mindfulness part is just being aware of that in your mind, if you're always like, I have to, like it's a burden, you're gonna feel like it's a burden. But then when you reframe it and you think it's a blessing, it's, it's a choice, you feel more empowered and you feel more positive. Language is a huge thing in reframing, correct? You right. have to use language so people don't really realize this, but what the words we use mm -hmm. is what creates reality, whether you realize it or not. I mean, as, as an ex-actor, trained actor at Maggie Flanagan Studio, that's all we have are words mm -hmm. on a script. Yeah, it's how we talk to ourselves. Right, and it creates that reality and how self-talk is so important, what you put in your head and the words that jump off, what are the, what are the meanings behind the words. So it's very much just changing the meaning behind Mm -hmm. whatever it is you're in front of, right? Right, right. And you have to do it, like, not just once, right? And you have, it's, it's a process mm -hmm. because if you've mentally trained yourself to think in things of negative to neutral, like, that's how you'll carry yourself mm -hmm. in your actions instead of being more, like, positive, like, constantly, like, being able to take even, like, rejection. For some people, rejection sucks, whether it's, like, you don't get the offer, you don't get the part, you get rejected from a girl... And you beat yourself up when in fact, you know what? Rejection is just another step closer to yes. Right. Right? Right. So actually, I use framing and reframing as well mm -hmm. in my coaching when I do personal coaching too. So it's great to hear I get to, I'm blessed because I don't, I don't use that stuff. So I just learned something new with that. Mm -hmm. And um, one more tip on what if you just don't feel good about yourself, like your self-image. Do you have a tip? For anybody there's something called like power poses there was a study done at harvard where they actually measured right like your your levels of testosterone versus cortisol like testosterone like you feel manly you feel confident cortisol is like your stress mm -hmm. and like the way you hold yourself and you look in the mirror like you're bigger right you know your, your chest is up your head is up you have a broad stance and what that does is the stretching of your muscles will activate certain like hormones in your system so like now you have testosterone like coursing through your system so that you feel more confident you feel better right and you feel better you, you look better you can look in the mirror you know obviously you want to smile because when you smile endorphins are activated in your brain so you feel good right um but obviously like body image you know self-image is something that takes a long time to cultivate 
especially if you have issues with body image or self-image. But, you know, that is an easy way, that's an easy tip for you to kind of like a little bit of a shortcut to make yourself feel good about how you look. I want you to stand like this and it's going to make you feel more powerful. High power people experience about a 20% increase and low power people experience about a 10% decrease. You can't just once get into that power pose and be like, the work is done. Right. As Aristotle said, excellence is not an action. Excellence is a habit. I love that. Excellence is a habit. So, all right, guys, you guys can find JT on what you want to tell people. Yeah, yeah, just our primary website is abcsofattraction.com. We've got YouTube, uh, but our website is primarily abcsofattraction.com. Easy to remember. And guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this. Leave a comment if you want to see more of things like this. I'd be more than happy to do this and uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.